hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and you're welcome back to another vlog so in today's video i want to go grocery shopping and i want to take you guys along with me today is saturday and i want to like plan my week in terms of food so i want to buy some things that i need i have some things at home like rice bread apples egg but i still have to buy some other things like i don't have palm oil i don't have tomatoes is scarce guys tomatoes is scarce so i'm going out today to look for tomatoes mm, red pepper and some other things and i want to take you guys along with me if you are interested in that kind of thing if you want to see how much stuff i'll be able to buy for a certain amount of pounds i don't want to exceed 30 pounds guys but let's see if i can stay within that range today so yeah that's basically what this video is going to be all about you guys know that i go to school every day i spend a lot of time in school i go to school monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday as a matter of fact i'm going to school today saturday it's not every saturday i go to school but i'm going to school today because i want to study i have some assignment that i have to finish up on time so because i go to school every day i spend a lot of time in school i always want to like eat well and i always want to like plan my meals ahead okay so i don't have to bother myself during the week about this oh what do i eat what do i eat and i still want to be eating well so yeah that's basically why i like to like prepare my meals in bulk store in the fridge and stuff like that yeah so that's basically what this video is going to be all about and if that sounds like something you might be interested in then you definitely want to keep on watching so guys um so guys the weather has been very very bearable i mean for the past one week we've had 11 degrees we've had 12 degrees we've had 9 degrees 8 degrees so it has not been extremely cold like it has not been very very cold it's been bearable so today i'm going to be wearing my crocs <laughs> i'm going to wear my crocs i do, i want to be free at least for today i don't want to wear sneakers to go grocery shopping so i just want to be free i mean i'm becoming a big girl in this cold thing because for me to be able to wear my just my crocs out i mean i'm becoming a big girl anyway so just like i used to do in nigeria i'm taking some nylons like some bags to go grocery shopping yeah so i don't have to bother about buying bags when i get there because i'm going to have to go to like three or four different stores to get the things that i need yeah no. So guys i am currently at my first stop i want to buy palm oil here palm oil and what i don't even know hello hello yeah yeah so i want to buy palm oil and if i can see vegetable nice vegetable it would be nice yeah This is three pounds ninety nine. There is other one that I used to use in Nigeria. Let me take baskets. Excuse me, where's the basket? Okay, thank you. It's actually not easy vlogging outside. Like this is my first time vlogging outside. <laughs> so I have bought exactly what I came here to buy. So I'm leaving. So guys, I am going to the second store. This is actually not a store. This place is called Open Market. So you can get a lot of things here. So I'm going in now to buy tomatoes here. They don't open all the time. They only open Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So. <laughs> I've been waiting since yesterday to come here. So I want to buy tomatoes here, I want to buy red pepper here. Um, and fruits, yeah, because I like to buy fruits and fruits. Let me get the basket. Get shopping basket. Um, this should be for one pound like that. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm going to get two bags. It's one pound. This one too is one pound. Pepper is actually kind of expensive. Not very expensive, but you know, I mean, that's relative. Scotch bonnet, one pound twenty-five. Yeah, so this is what I want to buy now. Who's going to answer me now? That's three pounds. Yeah. So, alright. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I am done. I'm done at the open market now. So, these are the things that I got. I'm going to show you guys when I get to. I've spent 10 pounds today <laughs> so I'm going to Tesco now to buy the rest of the things that I need guys so you know how we used to buy different vegetables here in Nigeria like um, green leaves you know I can't find the type of vegetables we used to use in Nigeria here but this is the other one I've used this one before and I really like it so I'm going to be using kale leaves to prepare my vegetable sauce I'm going to buy two This is 55p. This one is two pounds. So this is the last place I'm getting the things that I need. And this is the last thing that I need today, which is Indomie instant noodles. Okay, and this is one pound seventy nine. One pound seventy nine. So yeah, we are done for today. Let's go. Okay, so guys, I just got back home and I was able to get it, all the things that I needed for less than thirty pounds. It's not a lot. I mean, it's not a lot, lot, but it's it's something. So this is everything I was able to get. So this is everything I was able to get for less than 30 pounds inside these two bags. So let's dig right into it. So I bought this Cadbury Earth chocolate for two pounds. I thought it was going to be like Bon Vita, Nigerian Bon Vita, but it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I got these sweet grapes for one pound and I think it's a lot. I think it's fair. I got this instant noodles for one pound seventy nine. And in other African stores, it's actually two pound fifty. So I think it's a fair deal. I got these two bags of tomatoes for one pound each. So that is like two pounds. I got this um, palm oil. I got the spring onions for one pound. I like spring onions in my food. I got this palm oil for three pound ninety nine, and I like the taste as well. It tastes really nice. I got this pepper. I think that is three in a bag, and they are big actually for one pound. I got this Tesco onions for fifty five pence. Yeah, fifty five pence. And then I got this kale leaves for seventy five pence each. And let me tell you guys something. It got expired, so I had to throw it away. I couldn't use it. And then this red pepper, popularly known as atarodo in Nigeria, I got this one in this bag for three pounds. You guys saw when I was buying it, so you guys remember I got all this for three pounds. So I use my pepper wisely in this place, not the way I used to use it in Nigeria. <laughs> I use my pepper wisely. So I just I went ahead to like store my 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 tomatoes and pepper inside the plastics that you guys can see on the screen right now. I realized that my my pepper 
my tomatoes they stay fresher when i leave them outside and i think it's because it's winter time so maybe that's why they stay fresher when i leave them outside so and and also my freezer here is actually small it's not as big as what i used to use in nigeria <laughs> you guys if you guys saw like if you watched my previous video when i took you guys to the market with me in the in like in nigeria when i was in nigeria you guys saw my freezer or did you guys not see it you guys my freezer like my freezer in nigeria was very big but here it's small so i can't buy as much as i used to when i was in nigeria because i like buying food in bulk like things like this i like buying it in bulk i don't like going to the market all the time but this this <laughs> i have to go to the market all the time anyway i went to the school to study after all this after arranging all this and i came back in the evening to cook the food hey guys so i came back around 7 7 30 pm and the time is currently 11 so i've been cooking for the past three hours you guys in, in the morning i took you guys along with me when i was going grocery shopping and when i go back i just took um i had lunch and i went to school to study i came back around 7 30 and the time is currently 11 and i am so tired like i am very tired but it's it's good it's worth it because during the week i'm not going to be stressed about what to eat i'm not going to be worried about what to eat because you guys know that thinking about what to eat coming up with ideas of what to eat can be so stressful on its own so i decided to block out three hours today to cook lots of meals that way i have I, I can i can eat well during the week and i'm not stressed out about food and i'm just focused on my studies and work i, I know you guys can feel me right so let me just show you guys quickly what i cooked and how to store this food and i just i also i also need you guys opinion on something honestly speaking how to store this food because i don't think i'm doing it the right way let me show you guys something so this is the food that i cooked i prepared beans and i intentionally made these beans like this i did not put palm oil or pepper into it during the week when i want to eat beans i can take small out of it and make you know normal nigerian beans and if i want to eat rice and beans as well i can take small out of it you feel me right okay so this is um chicken stew chicken and um and fish stew yeah and then i also made a goosey and you guys i don't really know how to make a goosey but when i was making this one i was so scared that it wouldn't turn out well but you know it's not bad it's not bad it's okay and it tasted really nice Oh, it tastes really nice so this is jello fries i also made jello fries you know just to eat during the week and um yeah this is fish the remaining fish and the remaining chicken and yeah that's everything that i cooked <laughs> these are the plastic that i'm going to be using to store my food i got this one one two three from b and him i got this one two three from tesco so i'm going to be using this because the foods are a lot so i'm going to be using all this to store the food so quickly i want you guys to like tell me the best way to store this food because if i put jello fries inside this one so if i need to eat jello fries during the week i can't finish all of this at once obviously so i'm going to have to bring all of it out let this whole plastic defrost and then take the portion i want to eat at a particular time then return it back into the freezer and let it freeze up again i don't know i just feel like it is kind of stressful just let me know what what you guys think how do you guys do it let me know in the comment section okay i really appreciate your help and your opinion about that okay so let me just show you guys how i'm you know filling this plastic up 